Omphalophobia. This is the fear of the navel, or what we call the belly button. YouTube, if you're watching this, if you have phobia, be real scared. Does that intimidate you right there? Where does phobias people suffer from? Yo, chat, you know there's a phobia of black people? Well, it's called knee phobia. That's actually the term. Phobia comes from the Greek word phobos, which is related to having a fear of something, or often what we might call an irrational fear. Okay. I'm sure you've all heard of arachnophobia. Yo, chat, are y'all scared of anything? I'm scared of heights, and I'm scared of... I don't, I mean, I'm not scared of roller coasters, but I just don't prefer to be on them. Like, if I don't genuinely like it, then why be on it? Phobia, which means a fear of spiders, or... I'm scared of black people. Wow. Hydrophobia, which means a fear of water. According to the National Institute of Hy Mental Health... Hydrophobia! Okay, some of these... Okay, some of y'all are freestyling with these phobias. Nigga, you're, you're scared of, of drinking water? 19.2 million U.S. adults suffer from phobias. Sal is scared of girls. If you have a phobia of girls, that just means you're gay. Like, no, that's literally what it means. You don't like girls, so you want niggas. I don't have that fear. Some of y'all do, though. But some of the most common being a fear of spiders, a fear of snakes, a fear of heights, and a fear of flying. But today we'll focus on the freakiest of fears in this episode of the Infographic Show, Weirdest Phobias People Suffer From. Talk to me. Number 10, Turophobia. This is a totally irrational fear of cheese. Yes, there are some people on this planet that just can't go near a piece of mature cheddar. They run for the No, hill. I'm not gonna lie, you childish as shit, bruh. Nah, bruh. I don't know who she is, though. She double thicked up. She could get, you know, I'll give her some dick cheese. But cheese? Hold on, so if I load this shit up, you're terrified. Hold on, let me, let me, let me give y'all one of the greatest pizzas known to mankind. Nigga, you're scared of this? Did, you, you can't sleep at night look, looking at this scrumptious pizza? The scrumptious Papa John's pizza. I could just imagine how horrified they would be at Little Caesars. It would taste a little off. Cheese. When the waiter hangs over them with the Parmesan. Turi comes from the Greek meaning cheese, and you know the rest. The English media in 2016 reported about a university student with this phobia who called her first contact with cheese traumatic. However, she did say that mozzarella wasn't as scary as the other cheeses. Dude, I don't understand how you could be scared of cheese. Like, realistically, though, nacho cheese, amazing. Like, how, what the, is the cheese just gonna, like, somehow attack you? Like, number nine. I get it if you're allergic, but fear? Omphalophobia. This is the fear of the navel, or what we call the belly button. It might mean these people can't abide anyone going near their belly button, or that they freak out when close to another person's belly button. This is a pretty important part of the body, given that it connected us to our mothers. YouTube, if you're watching this, if you have phobia, be real scared, nigga. Be real scared, nigga. Be real scared. Does that, does that intimidate you right there? Only recently in 2018, the UK press featured a 25-year-old student doctor who suffered from this phobia, with the Daily Mail saying that she suffers panic attacks and is physically sick when she sees someone's navel. As for the other way around, she said, if someone touches mine, it feels like they're touching my insides and I can feel it all through me. She may struggle- Yo, so they could get a- could you, so technically, could you get an orgasm if, if your belly button is like that? struggle to become a doctor if she doesn't get over that. Number 8, Papaphobia. When some people find out that the guy who likes to wear a white spearhead hat will be in town, they decide to take a vacation. The guy is the Pope, and Papaphobia is a fear of him. It's thought this fear is related to other fears concerning being terrified of religious objects. When Y'all scared of a 90 year old man? What is that nigga gonna do to you? You think he gonna give you the visit and give you some like, you think he gonna clap your cheeks or some shit? He's old! Nigga, he gonna need security to go with them. Some of y'all are just pussies, bruh. When these people see the Pope, their heartbeat quickens, they sweat profusely, and sometimes feel nauseous. Apparently, if these folks do see the man, they should quickly swallow a Xanax or some similar type of anti-anxiety medication. Number 7. Nomophobia. Nomophobia is weird, but according to reports, it's becoming very common among the younger generation. Why? It means the fear of being without your cell phone, or fear of being without a charge, or even without connection to the internet. I'm sorry, but if your ass can't even take a shower, dude, are you that attached with your phone, you Discord mod ass nigga? Shout out my Discord mods, though. They're very great people. You know, I'm, I was a Discord mod, too. Let me chill. Um, you? What? I mean, no, no. Honestly, look, look, look. I prefer to have my phone in the bathroom, like, if I'm taking a dookie. Because y'all know dookies take time. But if it's anything else, then no internet. Psychology Today says some people are so scared to be without this thing, they shower with it, sleep with it, take it literally everywhere. I wouldn't say I'm like scared if I don't have it, but I definitely do get depressed. In fact, 
Cell phone addiction has become a big topic in the media, but some might be surprised that people are petrified of being without their device. A recent UK study consisting of over 2,100 people found that 58% of men suffered from this phobia, as did 47% of women. In the US, it is worse, with 66% of all phone users suffering from nomophobia. Damn. The Guardian in 2017 said this detachment from the smartphone increases heart rate and blood pressure, causes anxiety, and generally affects users. Okay, chat, how much of y'all can go a month without y'all phone? Real talk, be real. So watch y'all be like, oh yeah, I can't, I can't. Nigga, you, some of y'all can't even go one day without your phone. Nigga, okay, y'all wanna lie now. Y'all wanna lie now. Y'all wanna lie, okay, okay, lie then, lie then, lie then the way drug addicts first feel in the early stages of withdrawal. These screenagers have put their lives into this little bleeping box, and as most psychologists will tell you, that box was created to be as addictive as anything. Welcome to the world of digital heroin. I went with I went without a phone for a whole year. Yeah, buddy, because you're broke. That wasn't a conscious decision. You wanted a phone, but you couldn't have one. Number six, a febiphobia. Speaking about these smartphone junkie teens, some people have a fear of them. Yes, a febophobia is an irrational- Yo, hold on, my boy just subbed with a primers. Hold on, let me repeat that one more time. Ah, shit, why am I- Man, I'm so hungry, bro. I need to eat. Oh, my sh- Okay, my shit kind of glitching now. Um, my boy Father Rouse with the big prime. Appreciate you, Gango. Thank you very much. All right, let's keep going fear of teenagers or generally young people. We doubt sufferers need to see ID before they get the sweats. In every generation, you get these old folks decrying the youth of the day, saying they don't respect this or that, or in US comedian Doug Stanhope's opinion, that the digital generation is just not reckless enough. But apparently this aversion to our cute kids is on the rise. Okay. The Guardian interviewed one 16 year old who said, I've had people cross the road to avoid me. But that was due to the age old fear of kids possibly being aggressive to old people. Kids these days are subject to moral panic. You're scared of a kid? With older people telling them they are spoiled, a kid? too easily offended, until it comes to the point some people just don't want to be anywhere near their youths. But this seems to happen in every generation. One of the first books on the subject from the 1980s said nearly every generation of young people has been chastised for being out of control or aberrant in some way. We, yo, to all you pedophiles, all you predators, all you EDP ass niggas, y'all need this phobia. Please, I hope y'all get strike with this phobia because y'all got the complete opposite. Adult claims of degeneration among the young can be found in nearly every previous decade. Only Doug Stanhope dislikes the young, he says, because they aren't aberrant enough. Interesting. Number five, phagophobia. Whoever created the terminology for that word, we need to, we need to talk it out, bruh. We need to talk about, we need to talk it out, bruh. You better be very specific with what this phobia, you couldn't, you couldn't find any other word for it. Yeah. This one must really suck. Phagophobia is the irrational fear of swallowing. We are told it is sometimes confused with a fear of eating or certain conditions related to weight. Nigga like me would have thought it's another word for homophobia, what? Y'all gonna use, y'all couldn't say swal swallophobia, you know? I don't know, throatophobia? But it's closer to the fear of choking. The amount of research on this must mean it's quite common. One site tells us a person's throat muscles will flex and spasm during their panic attack, closing the throat and expelling any unwanted items out of the mouth. This could mean water, food, or medications, so it's very serious. The answer is therapy. Number four, triscatophobia. The you see, now y'all just freestyling with the words, bruh. Come, triscatophobia. Fear of the number 13. This person might also have a general fear of numbers, which is numerophobia. Others fear the number four, which is tetraphobia. But as for 13, what does that mean? Well, it's mostly related to superstition, sometimes related to myths or religion, and that generally the number 13 is not a nice number. We have a show on this topic if you want to know more. As Time Magazine reported, it's less a sign. Y'all think EDP is scared of the number 13? Psychological malady than it is a silly superstition. For this reason, some businesses leave out the number on aisles, chairs, floors, or rooms, and believers will stay clear of the number if they do see it. Number three, ablutophobia. This is not a good phobia to have if you are actively trying to find someone to date, because it means being terrified of washing or bathing. It's more okay. common in kids than in adults, but Talk. a few hundred years back in Europe, many people had this phobia. These okay. days, it's thought to be related to traumatic experiences as a child when bathing. Interesting. Number two. Bathing? Wait, hold on. So, so, so people are just dirty? Salah has it? No, I'm not gonna lie. 
Okay, okay. I will say as a kid, I, I didn't like taking showers, but nigga, it's not because it was because I'm lazy. It doesn't mean I was scared of taking the shower. No, all you all you Reddit mods, all you Redditors, you know, that be, you know, playing Genshin Impact, y'all probably have this shit though. Dextrophobia. Phobia. This is certainly one of the most irrational of irrational fears. It's what the happened? fear of having things to the right of you. According to one source, it's related to obsessive compulsive personality disorder. You don't want things to the right of you, nigga? Now, if it, this is my dominant hand. I want things to the right of me. And sufferers will find themselves cluttering things in the home or office all to the left side. They don't like standing to the left of people or even driving in the left lane. Other people may have levophobia, which is a fear of things being to the left of them. If someone has both phobias, then they are really in trouble. Number one, phobophobia. Imagine. You could say no, you, you, you would think you, you would want shit to the middle of you, bruh. Last phobia might make sense after you've watched this show, so it's the right way to end. As you might guess, it means the fear of having a phobia. So if you are feeling left out right now as you have no phobias, you might one day acquire this phobia. From the description, it sounds like a panic attack. The anxiety forms in the unconscious, and then suddenly the person will feel dizzy and tense. Their heart will pound, and be aware of something bad about You know what? This is not far-fetched. Uh, I'm really think about it. If you really think about it, it's like sometimes, bro, you when you attach some shit new, and you don't know if you're going to be like genuinely scared of it, uh, you know, it's not that bad. About to happen. This anxiety disorder can manifest as panic at any time, because the person is always fearing getting a phobia, sometimes of something they love. As strange as it sounds, it's actually one of the most common phobias on this list. We'll leave- Yo, child, I'm scared I'm never gonna get a girl, bruh. What is that? Ho-phobia? Nigga? Bitch- bitch list phobia leave you with this quote from Franklin D. Roosevelt. All we have to fear is fear itself. Ain't that the truth? So, do- True. But anyways, YouTube, that is all the weirdest phobias. Let me know if you have any phobia that you're suffering from and what it's called and what it is. If you're watching YouTube, make sure you guys join us on Discord. Catch us on Twitch. All that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love y'all. And peace.